I'm sitting here with Lisa Collins, who was just elected to the ninth place on the list of the Piratenpartei in Bad Württemberg, the Pirate Party, for the next federal elections. Hey, Lisa. Hi. How do you do? Not too bad, actually. Still fairly excited, to be honest, but yeah, I'm fine. Ah, you mentioned before that your accent is very Irish. I don't think it's too bad. Well, it could be worse, actually. I'm, I'm still trying um, to be as understandable as possible, because I know it's, it's fairly bad if you're not used to it. Oh, there are people from much, much worse dialects. You are pretty good to understand, even for someone who doesn't talk English as mother tongue. But let's get back to the topic. Uh, the Pirate Party in Germany uh, is developing pretty good. We have over 33,000 members so far. And in the next federal elections in uh, September 2013, uh, it's much likely that we will enter the federal parliament. Uh, what was your impression about this was the first time that we uh, created a list for this election? What was your impression of the today's meeting of the party? But I found it very exciting. I think everyone found it very exciting to see um, what candidates do we have and um, are they skilled, in which way are they skilled. Um, but overall, it was really organized, really extremely well organized. Um, so I'm absolutely impressed. I mean, we had the most chaotic um, meetings before and this was actually absolutely awesome. Do you think we have a party platform which is capable of carrying us to the national parliament. Do you think we can stand uh, next year's campaign as we are organized today and as we are developing? I'm absolutely convinced. I wouldn't be a pirate if I thought otherwise. Um, I think this is amazing. Amazing. There was just a few people and they managed to, do, to create all this and it was really, as I said, well organized and I'm convinced we can do this um, the entire next year and um, I think we can be pretty good. And looking at the people who have been elected today to be our candidates, uh, first of them is of course our wise party leader and then uh, Julia and the others. What, what do you think about uh, their chances and, and how they are? How do you see them? Is it a good list from your point of view? I think it's brilliant. I, just, I think we voted, we voted for um, the most brilliant people to be on that list. And I think we did a great job. I mean, they're all really different. If you look at them, everyone has their own topics and they're, they're talking about different things. And if they work together, I think they can be amazing. That is nice. And uh, you're wearing uh, not, not for an eternity in the power party. So uh, you had the chance to start fresh and this, as, a, as a very new member. What is your view on the party? Have you been uh, welcomed very... Uh, have you, do you feel welcome in the party? Absolutely. I remember when I went to the first meeting, I was really nervous and I didn't know what to expect and I didn't know what kind of people would be there. And everyone was really friendly and, well, we had... Um, we, vo we voted for a new... Um, well... Um, <laughs> We founded this new Kreisverband, ah, so this new... Um, yeah, 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 the local division in the party. Well, yeah, and um, I didn't know um, what I want to be voted for, and um, I thought about it about a million times at least, and in the end, some, I was in the pirate, member of the Pirate Party for about three weeks at that time, and in the end someone said, you just do this, you just go out and do this, and I thought, well, I'm only here three weeks, how could I do this? And everyone was so friendly and they helped me so much. It was brilliant. Uh, the party is very young. There we have some basic topics we stand for since 2006. And in the recent years, uh, this program grew. New issues came up to us. Uh, one of your special issues is family politics. Uh, do you think you can uh, bring your ideas to the, to the national parliament? Uh, and what, what are those ideas for you? Well, I hope I can. Um, it's very important that we um, create a better world for families. I mean, there are huge issues. If you, if you go out there and look, um, it's absolutely impossible to find a place in a crash or a kindergarten. And that's a problem that we shouldn't have. We just shouldn't. Um, we should try our best 
for families. We're always complaining there are not enough children, we need more children. Well, how could we have more children if you think about it twice? There are so many people out there and they think, oh, I would like to have a child, but um, how can I? I'm successful in my job and if I have a child now, that's the end of it. And it shouldn't be the way. Yes, especially if we look at the cities, uh, you would be an exception because uh, at your age, you're already mother. Yeah. Do you think that is also an issue about politics, uh, making it hard for people to start families in the way that society works today? Because we are not uh, like we were 50 years ago, where a woman was per definition uh, the, 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 the one who had to look after the children, stay at home, not allowed to work, not allowed to get a driver's license. Uh, do you think the politics did, didn't keep up with the changes in society? I think we went a very long way already. I think we've done lots and lots. I mean, times have changed big time. Um, before, women would stay home with the children, mind them, look after the housework. And today, we can go to work, we're allowed to vote, we're allowed to drive. That's a huge thing already, but it's not enough. And it's just no option that we stop. We just have to continue this until we get to, to a point where you don't have to worry anymore. If you're prepared to raise a child, you just go ahead and do it. You don't think about it twice because you know you have a job, you can go back into your job after um, you've been on maternal leave and you have a place in a daycare and you've people around you, even if it's neighbors, family, whoever, that can support you. I think it's still a long way to go, but we're getting there. I will come to the point of that uh, the Pirate Party is an international movement, strongly networking. Um, obviously, uh, you're a native speaker. How's that? To be honest with you, I think the, the International Pirate Party is still, well, it's still growing. It's still not as big as it potentially can be. But um, we're only six years old. We're, we've just outgrown kindergarten and we're prepared to go to school now. So um, I think in the next couple of years there's a lot of things to develop, especially with the International Pirate Party. And if you think about the European election in 2014, do you think we will be able, I mean, uh, the Swedish Pirate Party with already two members of the European Parliament will have a great chance to be re-elected. In Germany we have great chance. Do you think we can network within Europe uh, to, to bring the platform to other countries where the pirate parties are still growing, still f uh, are in the beginning steps? If Abs we Absolutely. Um, we are the internet party. If we can do it, no one can. We have the internet which brings people together big time. Uh, we can communicate over the internet. It's just, if you look at it from today's point of view, it's like 50 years back when you left your house and you had people there and it's the exact same. There's no difference in the world that is big enough that we can't just get over it. If you think about it from today in probably more uh, than in, in, in more than one year it, there is the chance if we get a good enough election result that you work side by side by politicians that you see only in television today or read in the newspapers. Isn't that exciting? It sure is. <laughs> it's it's going to be absolutely great and it's a great chance not only for us but it's a great chance for the people out there. People that have been dissatisfied with politics for ages, people that have stopped voting at all because they don't know what to vote for. Um, people tell us we hear the same lies every four years and we're just fed up with it. I think this is a great chance. I'm absolutely excited. Even, even if I shouldn't be part of this, even if um, the percentage isn't enough to have a lot of people from Baden-Württemberg in the parliament, um, it doesn't matter because we're one party and we're going to change so much, I hope. There are a lot of challenges ahead for, for us. Especially if we think about personal liberties, the development about uh, big companies collecting data like Facebook, where we are in the information society and the laws, they don't keep track of it. They just react and they, they get influenced basically by the wrong people. And if we think about all these developments, for example, INDECT in the European area, where they try to 
combine all kinds of surveillance technology where, the, where, where all people get uh, basically they collect all the information about all the people in one hand and, and centralize do we even have a chance to protect civil liberties in, in, in the information in the age of information absolutely look at what we've done in the past um, look at acta no one was talking about acta in the past the last couple of years i mean acta they were discussing discussing acta for years now and no one ever noticed and we brought it out in the streets we told people about it um, people were really confused when we told them they didn't even know acta existed and what have we done we ruined it for them acta is gone no one's going to talk about acta anymore they're trying the next uh, the next thing ceta now um, we're going to try to make sure that that goes as well I think we've done great in the past and we're going to continue. Do you have a message for all the people out there? I mean, the Power Party in Germany, it, 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 it's gone a long way. It took a, a, many people a lot of work to make it grow that way, to, to, to be a, a movement of, of national relevance. But in other countries, people are just starting pirate parties, two or three of them in some countries, who are optimists to trying to change something. Do you have a message for them? to uh, not give up or uh, a good message to, to give them uh, a bit of hope that they can start a pirate move movement in their country as well and change things. Just be brave, go out and do it. Don't let anything stop you. If you're convinced that it's going to work, convince other people. There's always someone who listens to you. And just don't give up. Thank you very much. Thank you.